Hello, today I will be opening up a Kaldheim set booster box. So, the newest set just came out, I think a week ago. And I'm noticing that there's very little hyper interest around this set, but... I still really like it. I think there's some good cards in here, and the flavor's pretty cool. Most of the value, though, seems to be really tied to the Mythics. With, I think, the best being Vorniclex, uh, Goldspan Dragon, and Valky. Goldspan Dragon, especially, I've noticed, is an extremely underrated and good card. Because they frequently print these Mythic Dragons in sets, but this one is exceptionally good after seeing it in action. And playing with it. So, hopefully we could get one of those Mythics. But, let's see what we can get. Oh, these sets, these, these packs, are they Japanese made? Oh yeah, these are Japan packs, cool. That means the card quality is going to be good. So, that's how they are, let's see. Also, the art cards are always a nice little bonus. And I'm actually going to set aside some of the... Oh, the card quality is good for the Japanese cards, but I'm going to set aside some of the sagas. I want to see how many of those I can get. I really like the art in them, and some of them are pretty good. Especially one of the Boros ones. Not this one, though, but the other one. And Faceless Haven with a Toski. So, pretty cool start. It's a good... Another good rare land that turns into a creature. Seen this played. With a Toski Bearer of Secrets. And yeah, there's a lot of elves and dwarves, and dwarves in this set, so a lot of good flavor, but we'll see what we can get. Seize the spoils for the foil. And this is a pretty cool card. It's a legendary squirrel that can't be countered, indestructible, attacks each turn if able, and whenever it deals damage to a player or any creature you control, you get to draw a card, so pretty cool card. And a foil snow-covered island. Nice. Always good to get that. Calamity Bearer has one of the rares. Giant Berserker. With a oh, starting off with a myth first mythic. Orvar the Ulf Worm. So, changeling, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, if it targets one or more per other permits you control, create a token that's a copy of one of those permits. And whenever a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard this card, create a token that's a copy of target permanent. Pretty cool card. So, first mythic. And glimpse the cosmos for the foil. Of course, there's also the list that's just quietly there. Hopefully we'll get some at least one good card from the list. And what is this? Carfell Har Harbinger. So they now have tapped uh, Snowlands. Also, decent common, I guess. Better than the usual tapped lands that come in every set. And Elvish Warmaster. Pretty good elf. Whenever one... Another one or more other elves enters the battlefield under your control. Create a 1 1 green elf warrior to creature token, and it only triggers once each turn. Which I guess seems to be fair. Make it. And Cleaving Reaper. I think this is one of the theme booster cards. I know they can come in the set boosters as well. Foil Stalwart Valky. Valkyrie.
Oh, looks like... If you look at the back, if it's not like one of the advert ad, ad cards, it's always going to be a list card. So this pack should have a list card. Pilfering Hawk. Pretty cool art for a snow creature bird. Oh, seen Frostbite played already. It's good removal. Oh, here's an uncommon. Saga, Invasion of the Giants. Put that aside. Ascendant Spirit. So, a lot of different effects for a one drop. Hilfring Hawk and a Carfo Harbinger. Oh, and the list card is a rare. Elvish Archdruid. It's from, I th think this is like a, maybe, like one of the dual decks. Something like that. I think I have a few of these. I have a core version of these, but probably not the best. Pool. Let's put the list up here. Oh, and here's one of the stamped signature cards. This is Maja Bredegard Protector by Lee Setiawan. Some of these are worth a lot. I'm not sure if this one is anything special, but I'll look it up after. Another raven. I always like the birds in the set. Agor the Freezing Flame. Legendary creature, giant wizard. And Tyrite Sanctum for the rare. The Boreal Outrider and a Coal the Forge Master. It is kind of weird, though, that the set has no hype, though I've noticed January sets, uh, same with Ravnica, Allegiance, Theros, they're always, like, outside of core sets, some of the least hyped sets in Magic. I guess people are just burnt out after the holidays. Kaya. Foil Glacial Floodplain. Nice foil. And Arnie Broken Bro. Broken Brow. The Broken Wings Foil. So my, my Zendikar set booster box I think had like 11 Mythics. This one seems to be a little bit more normal in terms of pulls. And that is Dream Devourer. Rare Saga, The Bears of <laughs> Lich Jara. Cool art. Canopy Tactician, this is a theme booster card, and I think this is the best one to pull. It's an Elf Lord that lets you, it's also a Mana Dork. Pretty good card. And we got another rare uh, from the list card. Hammer of Perforos. Legendary or legendary enchantment artifact. Creatures you control have haste and sacrifice a land. Put a 3-3 colorless golem enchantment artifact creature token onto the battlefield. So, pretty cool list card so far. Hold. No list card here. And, oh, this is cool art. This is Vega. Yeah, Vega the Watcher. I know we can also, in the list booster packs, get some of the, uh, I don't even know what they're called, the special art that's in this set. Hopefully get a couple of those. Yeah, oh, nice. There we go. One of the best mythics in the set. This card is insane as a dragon. Like, compared to something like Skargon Hellkite, this is so good. Because you can play this on, basically on curve, at four with uh, five mana, and then you can immediately protect it with a two mana counter spell. I've seen this played in a Is It Dex a lot right now. So good. And, oh, nice. An Essica's Chariot. This is the art I was talking about. Very cool art. And yeah, this isn't a. Uh, I know the, the two cats, I really like the art. I kind of want to get a regular version of this as well. 
a ice bind pillar and a squash. Yeah, this this dragon is probably I think one of the best cards in the set, and it's already seeing that. Because anything that ramps you immediately and pressures your opponent is pretty good. And in a way can also protect itself. Arnie slays the troll, another uncommon. Rally the ranks, I've seen this played in some white weenie decks already. I'm not sure if it's a particularly good card though since it's it's pretty good in a like tribal strategy. With a Sigrid God Favored. So flash first strike protection from god creatures, and when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature until Sigrid leaves the battlefield. So this can be used against something like Crawling Barons. Pretty good. So last pack in the first column. Raven's Warning, another rare saga. Cool art. And it's kind of like Fae of Wishes with the second trigger. Dragonkin Berserker. A lot of Berserkers in this set as well. Shapeshifters, Elves. Oh yeah, a lot of Shapeshifters. I do know they do try to like keep the theme with like each pack or something, so maybe this one is Shapeshifters. And yeah, <laughs> there's the card. The art, we got the art card and the actual card. Dragonkin Berserker. With a Varagoth Blood Sky Sire, Demon Rogue. Death Touch 2-3, and it can boast... Target player searches their library for a card, then shuffles their library and puts the card on top of it. So kind of like a vampiric tutor effect. And Jarl of the Forsaken. Oh, and a list card. Moon Mist from Innistrad. And I'll transform all humans, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt. So I'll transform. So this was back when you could, uh, I think a lot of car human cards would transform into werewolves. Though this would also work for the ones that transform into like uh, werewolves or Eldrazi. And. Oh, Cosmina. Pretty good card. Would be nice to get one of her. And Redain God of the Worthy. And this looks to be a flip card. Valkmira Protector Shield. With a foil giant ox. Foil Snow Covered Forest. These probably used to be so rare, like, because there was only uh, Ice Age and uh, Cold Snap to get these snow cover. Oh, and there was also uh, Modern Horizons. But these were still, these still used to be worth a decent amount. And I think I actually forgot to. Oh, uh, I've been mixing the rares with the foils. I'm gonna have after this pack. I'll have to correct it. Oh, good one drop, Usher, Usher of the Fallen. 
and Blood Sky Massacre. And the art is basically a tattoo. Open the omen paths. So let's collect correct the foils and rares real quick. I think that's Resplendent Marshall is the card, yep. Fearless Pup, <laughs> like the art on this. Maskwood Nexus. I haven't seen this card yet. Creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. It's pretty interesting. I think that's Quakebringer, yep. Glorious Protector. So, a, a, kind of an exile effect that can then send them back. Useful maybe for like some kind of Yorian deck. And a foil Sigrid God Favored, pretty cool. Another rare saga, Battle of Bretagard. And Crush the Weak with uh, Belfry Spirit. I think this was in like the Orzov, uh, what's it called? The Guild Kit. I know I actually got it just for the Foil Kaya, and if that, that Guild Kit is actually <laughs> worth a lot of money now if, you if I would have kept it foil. Put the uh, the strangest list cards in here, really. Oh, another list card. And a foil flip card. Okay. Hopefully that's something good. Maybe a god. Reckless crew for the rare. Old growth troll. Pretty good uh, green creature. And, oh, nice. Oh, that's sweet. Wow, Goblin Lore. This might be worth something. This is a, look at this pack. Two rares, a Mythic Foil, and a Goblin Lore. Wow, that's a great pack. So yeah, sometimes these packs can just be ridiculous and they're pretty cheap packs. So. Essica, God of the Tree. This is one of the better Mythics, so. So far I've gotten pretty good Mythic hits. Haven't got any of the bulk ones. So, Vigilance, add one mana of any color. Other legendary creatures you control have Vigilance, and tap for add one mana of any color. And when you turn it over, it's the Prismatic Bridge. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker. Put that onto the battlefield and the rest into the battle on, at the bottom of the library in a random order. So, this is like a card that can really be played in Commander. It's interesting about value of cards these days. It's almost exclusively determined by Commander. But yeah, that's it's a great hit. And Goblin Lore. This is uh, Chronicles, maybe? No, not Chronicles. It's uh, Portal, something like that. You see your Starter, Portal, something like that. One of those really older like sets that really wasn't heavily printed. And yeah, draw four cards and then put three. And then discard three cards at random from your hand. Kind of a typical Goblin card. With the theme, at least. 
with the flavor text saying, I done forgot more than you'll ever know, Pipsqueak. Yeah, that's your problem. So, really, really liking the list card so far, even if there's nothing super valuable. And the Essica, of course, was a great pool. Nico Defies Destiny, another. And Dream Devourer, I think, yeah, this gets plus two plus zero every time you foretell something. And each non-land card in your hand without foretell has foretell. Pretty cool. Icebreaker Kraken. 12 drop. Oh, one less for each snow land you control. So it's a little bit more reasonable. And a funeral longboat for the foil. Still 12 packs to go. Plenty more chances to get some more decent pulls. There's a Vague of the Watcher. I would like to get one of the alternate arts, even though I think it's cheap. Maybe I'll just buy a single of it. Saw it coming. Pretty good counter. And a Nico Eris. So we got one of the Planeswalkers with a Foil Rare by the looks of it. So Foil Dream Devourer. And let's look at the Planeswalker. So pretty unique Planeswalker since it doesn't have a set cost and it creates X shard tokens that you can sacrifice with two, sacrifice this enchantment, scry one, then draw a card. And you can use it to, you can create a shard token, you can deal two damage to target creature for each card you've drawn this turn. So pretty interesting Planeswalker. Valky, of course, being the best Planeswalker in the set. It's, it's about time they made a good Tibalt. There, oh, there's also that Elf Planeswalker and, and Kaya, so yeah. This set has more Planeswalkers than usual. Usually they would only have two or three in like a regular set. And a core set would have five. Mono-colored ones, at least. Yorn, God of Winter. So when he attacks, untap each snow permanent. You control 3-3 three, three for 3. Oh, we got a pretty cool art here. And this flips into Cold Ring, the Rhyme Staff. You may put target snow permanent from your grave... You may play target snow permanent from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield tapped. And pretty cool. Inga, legendary creature, human wizard. And when it enters the battlefield, you can scry three. And when it dies, draw three cards. If three or more creatures died this turn. Far Avenger, kind of similar to something like Midnight Reaper, with its uh, drawing cards for creatures dying. And the Azorius Pathway, nice. First Pathway. Pretty good pull. With a Victimize, choose two target creature cards in your graveyard. Sacrifice a creature. If you do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield tapped, so, uh, is this, uh, what set is this, actually? I'm not sure. Conspiracy, maybe? Maybe Conspiracy 2 or something? Yeah, they even put a lot of list, like, supplementary products as list cards. So, sometimes it's hard to even know what set it is. And Fall of the Imposter. With a, yeah, this is one of the good uncommon uh, sagas. I've really seen this. This can really do a lot. So it ramps you, destroys target non-land permanent your opponent controls. And then the third one is kind of not as important, I've noticed. 
pretty good card. And this card, which might get banned soon, because everyone's right now abusing it with a... Instead of countering other people's spells, you counter your own, and then you can... If it's like a zero, if you cast like a Tormod's Crypt or something and then counter it, you can get like a turn two Ugin, which is ridiculous. Pyre of Heroes, one of the better rares in the set. And a foil frostbite. God's Hall Compare Hall Guardian uh, creature cat. Pretty cool. And Righteous Valkyrie. A lot of Valkyries in this set. With the Call of the Forge Master. Let's see how many we got left still. So six. Hopefully at least one more mythic. Cosmos Charger. The World Tree. That's one rare I want for Commander. Nice. <laughs> it's got a ridiculous effect where you can put any number of god cards onto the battlefield if you sacrifice it. And Dogged Pursuit. The Trickster's God Heist. Haven't seen this saga yet. So exchange control of two target creatures. And then you can also do exchange two target non-basic non-creature permanents that share a card type. Okay. And this is one of the best, I think, sagas. Showdown, showdown of the Skulls. You can play this in an aggro deck to just give you a lot more gas. And then it also beefs up your creatures as you start playing them. Draugr Necromancer with a Herald, King of Skemfar. Carter's Vicious Return. Oh, and there's Cardor. Some kind of legendary creature demon berserker. Graven lore for the rare. Pretty good Rakdos card. And for the final pack. A 
the scent of the worthy. Blessing of frost and oh, that's a pretty good way to end. Co Coma Co Cosmos Serpent. Very cool card. I I don't know how it'll really be played in standard, but hopefully it's pretty. It looks like it's pretty good for commander at least. So it can protect itself. It can't be countered as well, and it just starts taking over the game very quickly. And Mesia Bredegard Protector. Oh, cr Cradle Guard. <laughs> Not a guy as cradle, but <laughs> that's a reserveless card, so. Trample and Echo. So Urza Saga. Pretty cool. It's a good way to end. So overall this box was a lot more normal compared to my Zendikar set booster box. I don't think it was too I don't think the set is as bad as uh maybe some other people seem to think. And as for the value, you know. The value immediately might not be good, but with sets that end up getting under-opened, the ac cards actually end up rising a lot better, especially if there's a lot of good uh, commander cards. Uh, an example would be Rivals of Ixalan. So I think the best pool, in my opinion, was probably the Goldspan Dragon or the Foil of Sika. But I actually really like all of these Mythics I got, so pretty happy there. And a lot of rares. Only one Pathway is the only disappointment, maybe. Would have been nice to get a few more. I got the pretty cool Asika's Chariot. And the list cards. I don't think there was anything too ridiculously valuable, but there were some pretty cool cards with the Goblin Lore, which is a very old card, and Cradle Guard, which is also an old card. All right, thanks for watching, and until next time.